Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox in the Norwegian Ham Ventures. What you see in front of me, except for the 706, is mostly 3D printed stuff. And that's the topic of today's video. We're going to talk about 3D printing for ham radio. And there's a reason we're going to talk about 3D printing for ham radio. Even though I've been doing 3D printing for ham radio and 3D printing in general for years now, um, my friends over in AliExpress decided to sponsor me with a new Anycubic Cobra 3 with the Anycubic ACE or the Anycubic Ace. That's a filament dryer and switcher so you can do multicolored prints. And this is not a 3D print channel, so I'm not going to do a 3D printer review. What I'm going to say, though, is that this Anycubic Cobra 3 is probably the easiest 3D printer I've ever used. And also the 3D printer with the highest quality that I've ever used. Because uh, I'm on my third printer now. My first one was a Flash Forge Finder 3. Great little printer, uh, could only print PLA and had a limited print surface of only 15 by 15 by 15 centimeters. So that got a little very, very fast. So I moved on to an Ender 5, which I've had for five years now. Ender 5 Pro actually. Uh, been a great machine, just churned out prints like a hero and like a workhorse. But when I got the option to test this printer out, I wanted to see what has happened in the 3D printer world. And turns out a lot of stuff has happened. First of all, you have automatic filament switching now, which is a whole lot nicer. You can print multicolored print, as a couple of the prints here are. But more importantly, um, printers are so much easier to set up now. My Ender 5, I think I used about two weeks to get that up and running and adjusted and tuned very, or tuned to my liking. Well, this Cobra 3, I think I spent 40 minutes from opening the box till I printed my first nine minute bench sheet. And that's another factor with newer 3D printers. They're faster. Well, my Ender 5 printed comfortably at about 40 millimeters a second. I have no problems churning out prints at 300, 400 millimeters per second uh, with this Anycubic, which is a whole different ball game, actually. Um, prints take so much shorter time and it's so much more fun to print. And it has all of those quality of life things like uh, filament runout, protection, um, automatic bed leveling, flow rate compensation, and all those kind of things. But again, I'm not going to talk too much about that printer. I've pretty much talked enough about the printer right now. I'm going to talk about what you can churn out with a 3D printer for ham radio. So let's get at it and take a look at the prints I have here and a couple of more ideas. And before um, I get completely started here, I just want to say that there are some affiliate links down below for this printer. Um, also, I'm going to pop up some discount codes over here during the video so you can take a look at those. But let's get on to what's on the table here. The first print I started churning out with this printer was this. It's a winder that I found over on Thingiverse. And Thingiverse is a great resource for finding 3D prints. And since 5 Papa 0 Tango Alpha 5 Poda is coming up on Born Home in a little bit less than a week from recording this video, I wanted to have a giveaway for all the participants. So I printed 21 of these winders. Found the winder on Thingiverse and I just added some text, which was really easy to do in the Anycubic Slicer. So it's a custom made, <laughs> custom made winder 5 Papa 0 Tango Alpha Terry Summer Camp 2025. Really nice. What else can you print? Well, if you're like me, having an older radio, finding side rails for it is relatively hard. Um, the 706 is uh, almost 30 year old design, uh, having been sold for about 20 years. And I found side rails for it on Thingiverse, printed those. They're not super durable, but if it falls head first, the rails are going to break and not the buttons on the radio, which are pretty much unobtainium now. That being said, you could probably 3D print new buttons and switches and encoders for the radio. But a couple of side rails, 3D printed, cheap insurance for your radio. Furthermore, I cannot do a video like this without showing my own dipole winder design. 
Um, designed this four years ago, I think. I sold them for a while as a linked dipole kit. It's just a simple winder with space for an uh, SO239 here, and it's meant to be slid on top of a mast here with the wires going out here and uh, the co sorry, wires going out here, coax going down here, and that'll counterbalance it on the mast so the mast will stay straight up. You can find this over on Thingiverse as well. And with that kit, I have probably my favorite 3D printed part. These are dipole links and end insulators. I keep a ton of these on hand because they're just so simple to print and they're durable and easy to use. There's a bit of, there's a bit of stretch relief here. So it just pretty much put the wire through these holes and tighten it up. And there you go, end insulator and dipole links. Probably my favorite 3D printer part. Uh, let's take a look at the other stuff here. You want to hang an out antenna outside? You have this Balanon box that I found over on Thingiverse. Tobias DL3MHT tipped me on this. Really easy print, looks professional, needs to be printed in a durable material if we're going to keep it outside, but easy to print. Got holes here for any kind of antenna you want to put up. Uh, and uh, space for an SO239 here. The Balanon box. Uh, found over on Thingiverse. And the thing is, a lot of these prints come from Thingiverse, Printables, Maker World, Maker Online, which is an Acubics platform. You can find pretty much anything there. This is another of my designs. Um, this is a PTT button for my Flex. Simple design, uh, just a cylinder button on top, wires coming out of the end to the PTT circuit. Keep it in your hand, you get a PTT button here for when using headsets and you don't have a pedal available. Easy design, I designed this myself in 10 minutes, I think, in Fusion 360. Uh, 15 minute print and you're up and going. And then there are more antenna winders here. All of these three come from my good friend, Ham Radio Dude, or I think he rebranded his channel as Dude. I need to check what he's called now. Um, I think it's dude tested. If it's not, I'll put that up on screen down there uh, with the correct name. He designed these winders here um, for sale with his own antennas, but they're also freely available on Thingiverse. This one has a BNC connector. This is a four to one, um, 7.6 meters of wire and a counterpoise connection here with a pair of power poles. It's of course the world famous Ribikov antenna, one of my favorite verticals. It's a random wire vertical that works every time, tunes pretty much any band and is a good performer. Got another one of his winders here. Uh, let's see if I can just put it up. I'm going to do some close-ups of these later on. This is a 9 to 1 with 43 meters of wire. Uh, random wire antenna for 160 through 10. Um, I needed this and I built this this week for the 5 Papa Zero Tango Alpha Expedition to Bornholm because we need a 160 meter antenna in case we should figure out that 160 on parks on here is a good idea. Uh, and these, this is the Counterpoise Net, si same kind of winder from Ham Radio Dude. Um, love this one as well. This is without the connector. Um, you can see these two, one has an SO connector, one has a BNC connector. Both are available for download. Easy prints, fast prints, my favorite winder whatsoever. And the last item I have here is a fuse box. This is actually a product I bought. It's made by uh, Steve Temporarily Offline, KM9G. Um, but the case is 3D printed. It's a PCB with a fuse holder and power poles on the end and a 3D printed case. Really nice, keep this in my kit all the time. But there, was, there are more things. It doesn't need to be big stuff like this. This little eight millimeter circle here is something I needed when fixing some you know, coax the other day. You know, inside those uh, PL connectors, you sometimes have a spacer to properly isolate the uh, center and the shield of the coax. 
My Chinese plugs were missing one of these, so I took three minutes, sketched one up in uh, Fusion 360, uh, printed it in about 30 seconds. Works like a charm. Easy print solves your ham radio issues. And then you have guy rings for masts, you have toppers for masts, pretty much anything in this hobby that you can imagine you can 3D print. And that's the moral of this story. Uh, with a 3D printer like the AnyCube Cobra 3 or any other 3D printer, you're pretty much set for ham radio 3D printing and making everyday items and solving problems you'd ha you'll have in your shack or out portable. Anything you can think of, you can actually print. And you might have noticed some continuity issues here, and that's because the camera is pretty far away, so I need to go back and forth in order to start the camera, and I'm pretty much sure I'm not sitting in the same place every time. But there's one more thing I gotta show you, because when your significant other is tired of you 3D printing for ham radio, wonders why you have that 3D printer in the house and how much money you've spent on it, you can print a vase for her. This little vase, found it over on Maker Online. That's Anycubic's own platform. You can find these pretty much anywhere. Took three hours to print. Wife's happy. So don't forget to print something for the rest of your family as well. As I said, anything you can think of, you can print. Uh, links to the Anycubic printer down below, or if you wanna try another printer, feel free, go ahead. But my point is that 3D printers have evolved significantly over the last five years since I got my last 3D printer. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm printing like, I was gonna say the H word, but I don't think you can say that on YouTube. I'm printing like heck these days. Anyhow, if you watch this far and like this video, leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Uh, do leave a comment down below. What's your favorite 3D print? Have you 3D printed for ham radio? Do you have any questions? Are you wondering what 3D printing is? Let me know down in the comments. And um, please don't forget to subscribe. That's it for now. See you down the bands. See you in my next video. 7-3, my friends.